station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Nilifer Ramji. Another week of spacewalks and biomining with microbes are just some of the exciting things happening aboard the International Space Station. On Thursday, September 9th, Russian cosmonauts Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov ventured outside the Poisk airlock and continued to prepare the new Russian multi-purpose laboratory module for operations. This is their second spacewalk in a week and is a part of a series of spacewalks required to complete the outfitting steps for the new module. Three days later, on Sunday, September 12th, JAXA astronaut and station commander Aki Hoshide and ESA astronaut Thomas Pesquet will exit the Quest airlock to modify the port for truss structure and prepare the orbital lab for its third set of rollout solar arrays. You can watch the spacewalk on NASA TV, NASA.gov, and the NASA app. Coverage is set to begin at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. In science this week, new developments on biomining with microbes and investigating genes expression in space, with the 2020 Genes in Space Challenge winner kept astronauts busy aboard the orbiting laboratory. New results were recently published on the BioRock investigation, which demonstrated how microbes can extract rare Earth elements from basalt in space. Basalt is a common rock on the Moon and Mars. The team has now shown that microbes can not only mine elements in space, but some microbes may also perform even better under such altered gravitational conditions. BioRock researchers observed an increase of vanadium biomining as much as 283% under reduced gravity conditions. These results show that biomining may be possible on a larger scale in space, extracting elements that humans need to sustain themselves independent of Earth. Some pharmaceuticals used to maintain astronaut health do not work as well in space. This may be linked to changes in levels of the liver enzymes that metabolize most drugs. Genes in Space 8 tests the Genes in Space Fluorescence Viewer, a new technology for visualizing biomolecules like DNA. In this investigation, it will be used to monitor the expression of genes that control critical liver enzymes. This test could lead to a better understanding of spaceflight-induced changes in liver gene expression and may support the development of new therapies that can account for the body's adaptations to spaceflight. The tool being tested to study these changes in space could also aid in patient monitoring in remote areas on Earth. That's Space to Ground for this week. For all of the latest updates, head over to nasa.gov. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.